Today I'm going to be making uh, Hunter's favorite pie for you. Um, it's one of my favorite recipes. Uh, you use uh, two pounds. You'll start off with two pounds of uh, cubed meat. You can use either venison or beef. I like to use venison obviously, but uh, if you don't have venison, you can definitely use beef. Start off by uh, browning your stew meat in a pot with two tablespoons of butter. It'll start turning out like that. It's looking and smelling pretty good to it. I have, they say two onions chopped. Obviously, it depends on the size. So we'll add that in. And then all these ingredients, and I'll show you as we go. Once browned, add in the onions. Add in two cups of carrots. I like to use baby carrots. One teaspoon of garlic powder. I eat use a half teaspoon to measure it out because there is other measurements that call for half a teaspoon so as opposed to making more dishes dirty I'd rather just use the half a teaspoon add in one tablespoon of paprika Now we'll add in a quarter teaspoon of thyme. A half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now we will add in a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And finally, my favorite part, one cup of your favorite Pilsner. Now we'll stir that all together and let it simmer for one hour. Now once I get it back to a simmer, I will uh, take and put four bay leaves on top. This will add to the flavor profile a little bit, but make sure you remove the bay leaves before eating. I was curious one time to know what a bay leaf tastes like after it was in some chili. Don't do it. They're very waxy. And don't taste very well not to mention they're hard to chew but the flavor you get from them is really good I highly recommend chilies and stews try throwing some bay leaves in there and it just really makes a difference on the flavor okay magically an hour has went by and uh, at this point I'm gonna remove the bay leaves and I start the oven at 400 degrees I will add one bag of sweet peas and simmer for 15 more minutes and then I will transfer to a casserole dish where I will place biscuits on top and cook for another 15 minutes at 400 degrees in the oven don't mind the background noise but uh we got the uh, peas stirred in. It's simmered for 15 minutes longer. And I'm going to take and transfer it now to a casserole dish. So here goes nothing on that one.
Got her in the casserole dish. And I'm gonna put biscuits on it next. All right, for some reason, the last video didn't load. But as you can see, I placed eight biscuits on top. I'm using country style biscuits. You can use whatever you like for that. I'm sure it would all be delicious. We'll bake it for 15 minutes, which we're down to 10 now. Well, there it is, folks. Fresh out of the oven and uh, looks pretty delicious. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.